All right, in this video, we are going to create a widget that shows the status of your Wi-Fi, whether it be uh, off or disabled, um, on, and then connected, because those are the three things that we can code for Wi-Fi status in KLWP or KWGT. And I'm gonna show you how to do this using an icon font, and this is uh, a user request, and I'm going to use KWGT for this. So. Um, I'm just I'm inside of KWGT and I got my widget and I'm going to just add a background. I'm going to use solid black just for the sake of this video. And back inside of here, we're going to add and we're going to add an icon font. Now, once you learn how to code it based on what I'm doing here, you can do this to Bluetooth. You can create your little Wi-Fi signal. You can create a cell phone signal, and you can put them all together in a stack group and stuff like that. But for now, let's just focus on getting uh, this thing to dynamically change based on our Wi-Fi status. So I've got my little icon. Now, star is not what I want, obviously. I'm picking the material pack because I know inside of material we have some Wi-Fi icons. So clicking on star, I'm going to scroll through here and I'm going to show you the three that I'm going to use. Now, I'll tell you why I'm picking three. And the three that I'm going to pick are going to be this one, this one, and this one. Now, there's a reason why I'm picking three because there's three conditions that Wi-Fi can be. Wi-Fi can be connected. I'm going to use that. Wi-Fi can be enabled. I'm just going to use that for the heck of it. You can use whatever you want. It'd be nice if we had one maybe with an exclamation point. That would be your way of saying, hey, my Wi-Fi is on, but I'm not connected. There's a difference between being enabled and connected, and I'll show you that. And then this one right here, signal Wi-Fi off. Now what you want to do, maybe you need to click on this. Now watch what happens when I click on this. You want to write this down right here. Write it down exactly like you see it, even with these little underscores. Okay, so we got signal Wi-Fi 4 bar. I have it written down so I can remember it. Let's scroll back to those again. Um, signal Wi-Fi 4 bar underscore with lock. Write that down if you're doing the Wi-Fi one or pick whatever you want. And then we have the other one where I don't think there's any anything extra to write down. You don't have to click on it. It's just a signal underscore Wi-Fi underscore off. I don't see any little ellipses, any dots after it. So that should be the full thing. So these are the three I want to use. Now, again, why am I picking three? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to touch this little guy right here, go up to the calculator, and let's talk about why I'm picking three. You can do this for Bluetooth or other connections as well. So network connectivity, um, and we're going to have to do an if code. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and start with my if. So if, all right, let me go to network connectivity, and I'm going to scroll down to I see the stuff that talks about Wi-Fi. Notice, so Wi-Fi status, we have disabled, we have enabled, and we have connected. Now right now I I'm connected to a Wi-Fi. As you can see, I have a little Wi-Fi signal up here, but nonetheless, this is the one I want. So I'm going to tap on that, and now I need to change my code just a little bit. I need to do a little parentheses there. Now remember, you have three words. You have enabled, disabled, and connected. So let's suppose if we are connected. So if we're connected, put a comma, now, remember those things I told you to write down about your icon fonts? The one I want to see if I'm connected to a uh, to Wi-Fi and if I have Wi-Fi service, um, I need to do this one. Signal, remember I told you to write these things down. Underscore Wi-Fi, underscore four, underscore bar. Whatever it was that you picked, whatever icon font you picked. So comma, now, I'm going to go back and we want to talk about the other things. Now you can continue this if statement the same way I'm doing it. So if Wi-Fi is connected, I want to see this. Now, what if the Wi-Fi, notice I just put a comma and I'm keeping, I'm continuing my code. What if Wi-Fi is equal to disabled? Put a comma. Now again, look at what I'm doing. I'm using the, either Wi-Fi is going to be this, this, or this. So now I'm talking about the disabled. I wrote down one for that too. The signal underscore Wi-Fi underscore off. So signal underscore Wi-Fi underscore off. You got to make sure you type these in exactly the way they are. Otherwise, this will not display the things correctly. And then comma, one more. So I'm going to click on NC Wi-Fi. What if it's equal to connected? Oh, I've already talked about connected. 
what's the other word I'm missing? I got connected, I got disabled, what about enabled? So enabled is a way of thinking, okay, Wi-Fi is on, but you're not connected to um, some router or whatever. So that's the one where I'm going to do the one with the lock on it. That's just going to be a way of reminding me here, or maybe it reminds you, hey, you're not locked on to something. I don't know. Pick whatever Wi-Fi or whatever icon you want, but I'm going to do this one just for the heck of it. So to speed this up, I'm going to take this guy here, copy it, because it was very similar, except it had underscore lock. All right, be sure to close it up, put a parentheses, and now we should be returning something. So depending on which one of these we are, right now we are connected. Notice it is returning signal underscore Wi-Fi underscore four underscore bar, which is that right there. Now I'm going to show you how this will dynamically change. Everything is inside of one code. I'm going to check that. There it is. Let's save this, and now let's mess around with our, let me make sure this is applied. Did it work? Yes. So now here's our little widget down here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to change, go through these three things. Right now I am connected, so we see that signal. Now remember, we should see this one. If I cut it off, let's cut Wi-Fi off real quick. So now, this thing that we're creating here is not going, so notice Wi-Fi is now off. Let me back out of the thing. Now check out your signal. So this little thing that we've created, this will not toggle it. You have to use Tasker. For right now, KLWP or K KWGT will not toggle these things. You need to use Tasker. That may be changing in the future. But notice my Wi-Fi is off. That's that signal. That's that one that was signal underscore Wi-Fi underscore off. Now, let me cut the Wi-Fi back on. Now, probably, if I do it real quick, look, see? My Wi-Fi is enabled, but I'm not connected. Now, this might change if it does connect back to that Wi-Fi uh, router where I am. Let's see if it's going to change. Maybe it won't. <clears throat> okay, so I need to connect to the Wi-Fi. And right now I'm not connected. So I tell you what, I'm going to hold down on that and let's connect to the Wi-Fi. So now that I'm actually connecting, which as you can see it says Wi-Fi network, I am connected to something. So let me close this. And now if we go back to our home screen, check it out. There's our other, uh, one of those three. So as you, as you can see, we've seen all three. This is what we're going to see if we're connected to the Wi-Fi. We're going to see the little lock symbol if our Wi-Fi is on, but we're not truly connected. That's the word enabled. And then the Wi-Fi is completely off, we're going to see the one with the slash through it. Now you can go, go back. I'm not going to do this in this video, but very similar. All right, let me open back up KWGT. Very similar, we can do this with, uh, I'm not gonna change all this stuff. I'll tell you what, let me just copy, paste. Okay, this is gonna be right on top of it, no big deal. I just wanna show you what I'm talking about. For Bluetooth, if we scroll down and we look at Bluetooth, bam. See, look, you have a couple of things for Bluetooth. Bluetooth, now these have the dots. You need to record the words. So notice this symbol would be if like you're connected to a Bluetooth device. This is if Bluetooth is completely off. And I would think about using these three because Bluetooth has three conditions. It's either going to be um, disabled, it'll be connected, or to be just on because Bluetooth can be on and not be connected to something. So maybe those are the three you'd want to pick if you want to show your Bluetooth status. And you would code it very similar um, I'm just going to, I know I'm messing around with what I've already created, but network connectivity, if we scroll down, where's the Bluetooth at? Oh, right there. See, now Bluetooth, it doesn't have words. It just has a zero uh, if it is static. Hold up, let me see. Current Bluetooth static. Okay, zero is if when it's disabled. That's when it's off, so you could code it. Uh, if blue or if NCBT is equal to zero, type in whatever icon font name you want it to be when Bluetooth's off. One is enabled. That's kind of like the enabled thing for Wi-Fi. It's on, but it's not truly connected. And then notice this two is what you would want to code if you were connected. But you would do something very similar to what you have up here. Just make sure you pick the icon fonts that you want and make sure you write those words down. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can create a quick widget. Um, that shows your various networks or network statuses. And uh, that's it for this video. Hope it helped.